Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to KNews 63 about China's Long March 11 launching a first of a kind X-ray positioning system for interplanetary and interstellar flights. Long March 11 is China's smallest operating launch vehicle and consists of at least three solid fuel stages and one optional fourth liquid fuel stage, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. The launcher can lift up to 700 kg to LEO and 350 kg to a sun synchronous orbit at 700 km. The main payload is XPNAV or X-ray Pulsar Navigation and Timing next to some smaller CubeSats. The rocket launched rather secretly without much media coverage earlier this week since it is derived from a ballistic missile launching from the back of a truck. It took place at Jiuquan on November 9th and the rocket headed for a sun synchronous polar orbit. Long March 11 was developed to be a small emergency launch vehicle, which China can actually hold in stock and should a catastrophe occur, they can rather quickly throw a payload on top and go. XPNAV is as mentioned the first satellite to try out X-ray positioning in space. Positioning far away from Earth is needed to track payloads on their way through space. Right now a satellite leaving Earth sends timed signals back to ground where its position can be calculated. This can be done because mission control knows exactly when those signals are sent and the satellite's position can then be derived by the time it took for the signal to reach Earth. Now the major downside of this is the satellite completely depends on mission control and cannot make out its own position in space autonomously on its own. The accuracy is also rather poor so missions need more correction burns thus consume more propellant. However I suspect the main use case will probably be flights through space which don't follow an exactly planned trajectory but may change course as cool things come up on the radar. To understand how this new technology works, which by the way originates from the German Max Planck Institute, you have to know about pulsars. Such are extremely small and dense neutron stars. These form once a star burns out and collapses by the lack of inside pressure holding the gas apart. A star usually has some rotation and as it gets smaller the spin increases drastically like a ballerina when she pulls her arms to her body. The resulting rotation can be so fast it would be impossible to see for our human eye forming a blur. This ultra quick rotation combined with its magnetic field acts like a giant super dynamo shooting out a beam of electromagnetic radiation like radio waves, light, X and also gamma rays. If the magnetic field is not aligned with the spin axis this neutron star becomes a galactic lighthouse so to speak, a pulsar. Each with its unique fingerprint since they all spin at different rates and at different angles. This is shown here by such curves. A hill means you get hit by the beam and a valley means the beam points away from you. Since all pulsars are unique you get hit by each at different times. Now moving through space the distances to all those different pulsars change. This means the pulses of those pulsars shift relative to each other so at some point you get hit by the other one first. Knowing how these pulses overlap on Earth, one can calculate where the spacecraft's position relative to our Earth has to be in order to achieve such a change. The more pulsars are used, the more accurate this becomes and you need at least three to calculate your position completely autonomously. XPNAV will only track two pulsars since it is just a test but it will be enough because it can not only measure the distance to the pulsars but also the distance to Earth which acts like the third needed input. Once released it will begin to deliver valuable data not only for China but for scientists around the globe so we can one day leave our solar system without getting lost. Now in the end a quick shout out to my patrons who support my monthly crowdfunding campaign. Thanks a lot guys. If you want to contribute as well simply follow the link in the description but if you can't or don't want to you don't have to feel sorry it's alright I'm of course also happy about everyone watching my videos. Okay, that shall conclude KNU 63 and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.